First at 6 o'clock, a Grand Rapids man faces felony charges in Muskegon County after he was rescued from a burning vehicle. The man's seven-year-old son was in the car at the time. Happened around 2 Wednesday morning near 7th and Sherman in Muskegon Heights. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills explains why the driver was arrested and he has reaction from neighbors who saw what happened. The suspect in this bizarre car fire already has a number of felony convictions. He's on probation and this week investigators say he endangered the life of a young child under his supervision. Early Wednesday, neighbors on 7th Street woke to the sound of a motor revving. Somewhere between five and 10 minutes. It almost sounded like something was being drugged down the road. You heard the squeal of bearings. When Lance Miles and other neighbors went out to see what happened. The whole interior's full of smoke. They thought the driver had fled from the parked car, leaving it to burn. You couldn't see anybody inside the car. They got closer. Two to three foot high flames coming out from under the edge of the hood and around the tire. Then the surprise they didn't expect. I'm over kind of checking. Pass the door just opened wide up and a little kid comes out. A kid appeared. Oh my God, there's a kid. That surprise continued when this seven year old boy told the adults this. He said he didn't know the guy he was with. He didn't know who who it was. State police troopers arrived and found 31 year old Demarcus Dawson in the driver's seat. He's now charged in Muskegon County with operating while intoxicated with a passenger under 16, possession of cocaine and resisting a police officer. My neighbor brought out the fire extinguisher and kind of kept the flames at bay. The neighbors say they did what they could to keep the fire from increasing while waiting for police. Tom Barr says Dawson refused to get out of the car and the flames ignited at least two bullets, making it dangerous for him to try to put the fire out. As soon as I started to spray with the fire extinguisher, one went off and I backed up a little bit and said, okay, and kept spraying and then uh, about a minute later, another one went off. State troopers did get Dawson out of the burning car and into a squad car. He's believed to be a friend of the boy's older sister. Troopers return the boy to his mother and Dawson is expected to be in court again later this month. In Muskegon County, John Mills, 13 on your side.